What's up, my beautiful dreamer? And welcome back for another video with your girl, Shilling the One. Okay, guys. So, I have a review here of the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Matte Volume 2 Romantics Luxe Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. is really the name of it like I'm not lying like that's a long name this is the packaging very pretty of course it's like a woman's or girl's dream we all love pink even those people that don't like pink like pink if that makes any sense if you're a girl um I love the um I don't yeah is it raised no the indented metallic printing on the packaging is very appealing very eye-catching really like that it has a beautiful saying on the back and as you are beautiful you are one of a kind you are what you believe you are it baby the this is the packet i mean this is what you know it comes in this box and it comes like this like that you pull it out and voila this is the bad boy this is like sweet that's that's what it is it feels like that very comparable to the um, Naked One palette almost, but even more velvety. you know, this is beautiful. It's it's very identical to the box, very identical to the box, which you find in the box, you will find on the packaging. Also, the saying is on the back. Um, this is what it looks like from the side. And it has this metallic snap closure. Okay, so when you open it up, it does come with a um, a protector, which I already took out. I don't even know where it's at anymore. Did it just slide out? Oh, no. Here it is. It does have a little mirror. It's not the biggest mirror, but it's pretty much like the normal um, palette mirror, the, the average size. And this is, I'm going to turn it upside down, and this is what it looks like. You have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen eyeshadows as well as a transforming pearl. I did do this makeup look today with this palette. Um, we're going to swatch these and uh, so you can see what they all look like. Um, they range from peaceful, hope, sweetness, enchanting, devotion, fate. Embrace, mystery, adore, tra tranquility, desire, romance, trust, poetic, and then you have the transforming pearl. Okay, guys, right where the mirror is, it says it naturally pretty. Um, this is so this is their fall palette that they recently released. Now, right off the bat, I don't see fall. I don't see fall at all. This eyelash is getting on my nerves. I don't see fall at all. Are there some really pretty colors in here? Yes. When I look at this palette, I think of spring. I think of Easter. I think of Sunday eyeshadows to wear to church. I see very cool tones. There's nothing really of a... Um, a darker tone these are very cool there's not too many warm shades in here you do have this like it's not really it's not a black at all it's almost like a dark gray color here and you can see how it swatches it you know it has to be built up and it's a little patchy as you can see there it's a little patchy workable but patchy another thing about this it reminds me of one of the Lorac palettes Wait, I have it right here. It reminds me of this palette. The um, Lorette Pro. It reminds me, it took me here. Not that the colors are identical, but they're very cool. So for us, darker women, you know, we would kind of have a more difficult time kind of applying these unless you like, you know, cool tones and don't get it twisted. We can make anything work, baby. So this is what it reminds me of, not only just of the cool tones, 
but of the texture of the of the um, shadows. This palette is great, great pigment. However, it's chalky as all hell. And unfortunately, I get the same thing with this. I did demo and just do one eye and I had a lot of fallout. And I also had to apply the color on a base because it doesn't show up very well. Okay, so this is Poetic. This is what I have on my lid. Did you just see that? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna swatch it. It's like going away. Do you see that? So it's it's weird. It's, it's like I had to, I had like I'm literally doing exactly what I had to do for my eyeshadow, and I had to apply it like four to five times. I also had to put on a base to make the poetic color kind of pop a little bit just so we all can be able to see it i just want to be able to see it um also there isn't anything in here that's a transition so there was you will have this color but this color would probably show up definitely better on one of my lighter sisters you see how light that is for me i that's not really much of a transition that's probably i can use that for blending not necessarily transitioning you know, and that's like their like warm, you know, a nice transition color. They also have this color here, Fate. Now, Fate I did use in the outer V, and uh, yeah, it it's like a muted, taupey dark brown. Hopefully, you guys can see that there. It's pretty. Um, if being that they don't have a black and that black is kind of grayish, it makes sense for them to have something in there just to kind of give you some smoke, just to help you kind of bring the, um, the look together. But it's not one of my favorite browns, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, there's not enough warmth in that brown for it to be fall. But there is enough cool in that brown to be spring. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, they also do have some really pretty um, purple tones. They have Devotion and Enchanting. Let's swatch Enchanting first. Enchanting is a very beautiful, beautiful um, purple. Look how pretty that is. It's very pretty. And I have to say quite way more pigmented than the other. Really like that one. Very pretty, but very um, uh, uh, opaque and very... Easter, neon, you know, very Easter. I'm gonna swatch the darker one for you and that's Devotion and I'm gonna put it right next to it. And in the palette, it looks like a really pretty uh, purplish blue, but when you put it on, for me, it gives me like a, it gives me like a Toby Gray. So it, that color unfortunately doesn't transition onto darker skin the way that it is in the pan. The other colors are really pretty neutral. They do have this really tr pretty green, like this pop of green, but it's very Easter and it's called Tranquility. And look at it on my finger, very pretty. I'm gonna swatch it right here and bam, like it's right in your face. It's beautiful. It's a really nice neon, clearly highly pigmented color. The problem is I'm not wearing that for fall. And if I do, it's going to be like only in the t inner tear, you know, my, my highlight, my inner tear duct. It's not necessarily a color I would wear for fall. It is a color I would wear for spring and Easter. So with that being said, I can't get behind this as a fall palette. What I can do is say that it's a decent palette for maybe my lighter sisters, but not one that I would necessarily recommend for us darker sisters, just because I don't feel like we can get a full, you know, like a real use out of it. And nowadays, these palettes are getting expensive. so. You know, we really don't want to waste money on palettes that we're not going to use often. One more thing that makes this palette not a favorite. 
Do you see how I have to hold it? Because I don't want to make it messy. This is going to get messy. And a working makeup artist don't have time to be making sure that the palette stays pretty. We're moving. So this is going to get dirty and you know, I hate that you work so hard on beautiful packaging, but it's going to get nasty and dirty really, really, really quickly. So unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Um, do I think some of the shadows are extremely highly pigmented and work? Yes. Like I said, this color and that green, it pops if that's the color that you're looking for. However, all of the swat, all of them do not swatch great. I did feel like I had to go in and kind of build the color with it within four, three to four applications. So, uh, I'm sorry. For me, it's, it's, I would not necessarily recommend it. I do recommend it for, like I said, my lighter sisters. Being that I am darker, usually I like a warmer, um, palette that can give me some variety. I can make some, you know, some neutral eyes, some smoky eyes, some warm eyes, some purple eyes, some dramatic eyes. And this is a very, mm, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not going to take me very far. By the way, these are all pretty much matte colors. Some of them do have like a sheen to them, but very much more on the matte side of the spectrum. And so that is my review for this palette. I definitely will have full swatches for you at the end of the video so you can see what everything looks like all together against my pigmented skin. I am not going to show them without a primer because I do believe in primer. Um, I wouldn't recommend any eyeshadow without primer so I wouldn't show you anything without primer so I'm gonna make sure that my arm is well primed and I'm gonna show you swatches and that is my review I do notice that it cosmetics most of their stuff I have a bunch of other stuff and unfortunately I haven't been able to bring a lot of it to you because a lot of it is cool toned and I would love for them to start working on that and coming up with some warmer um, things because we love it cosmetics too. I'm a huge fan of it cosmetics. I love you. I like your quality. I think your packaging is off the chain. Can't really get behind this one. I mean, it's beautiful. This is just pretty. This, but it's not. It's not reasonable for the working average. You know, I mean, not for the person who's a real makeup lover to go in and out. It's gonna get filthy. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to leave all your questions, comments, concerns in the comment section. Spend a little bit of time in my description box. And uh, be sure to follow me everywhere because I'm always doing stuff. I love you guys so much. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I just said it already, right? And uh, I'll see you in the very next video, guys. Remember to be a blessing to yourself and more importantly, be a blessing to those around you. Mwah, love you.